In today's video, we're going to take a look at another recent setup, and it was in Baidu, and it is where I did run quite a few of the old projections of prior, actually there was one larger prior decline that I projected from the recent high. There was a 1272 extension of another swing, I believe it was this low to this high. There was a 382 retracement of another swing, and then uh, actually there were two 382 retracements. Okay, so there was one right around this first 1272 extension, and then here's the second one. Bottom line, we had a price cluster decision. So this is a setup that has already triggered. So I'll give you an example. So you'd be late to the party at this point. You wouldn't have to worry about the party being over, however, because we do have the upside potential all the way to the 1272 extension. So, you know, what do you do with that? Well, first, let me show you what the original trigger was. Okay, the zone that came in between this 229 and a quarter to 233.34 area was tested and it held. The aggressive swing trade trigger, I believe, came in, let's see, which day was this? This was um, Monday. Okay, when you had the 834 EMA crossover and also in the process you took out a prior swing high, you know, indicating a shift in pattern from lower lows and lower highs to higher highs and higher lows. So that was the original trigger. But what if you missed it? Do you want to be a buyer up here and risk underneath here? No, you really want to take these entries when you have the edge. So if you missed that entry, could you look at it again? And I would have to say yes, and that you should look at setting up a pullback within the bigger picture setup. So for that, I go down to a 30 minute chart and I'm taking 100% of these couple of prior swings and projecting them from the recent high, running the retracement. And then also there's an extension of this prior low to high and looking for a confluence of price relationships. So what I'm seeing as a secondary entry potentially uh, to you know the long side in Baidu it would be if we can test this general area and then see another new buy trigger fire off that tells us it's worth placing a bet. So the zone or the secondary zone that I'm looking at is 239.07 to 241.32 and I can at that point define my risk underneath the low end of this zone or maybe underneath the low that's made prior to a buy trigger. Okay so there's a couple different ways you can do that. And, um, you know, that's what I would look for next. But if I don't get a pullback to that zone, then I may just uh, uh, miss that entry. But in the bigger picture, I am going to look for higher prices in Baidu unless we break underneath this recent low that was made into the daily cluster.